Hello everyone, how's it going? Doctor Incompetent here, and let's play some of this Elden Ring here with our self-made, self-modeled astrologer. Well, we've just been galloping around on our steed, cowardly shooting enemies from afar with our magic, and now it's time to reap the rewards of that by figuring out exactly how I can use some of these items that I acquired uh, to put... I don't know if you have to use um, a crafting table to do it, but I got some stuff. Ashes of War. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, usable on all melee armaments. Um, grants affinities and skills to an armament, right? So I have this now. Uh, and I think I want to do it, but I don't know how. So uh, I'm going to warp back to the other place and let's just see if we can get this going, shall we? Alright, so we're going to use the old side of grace. And gracefully, see what I did? Um, oh, I don't even need to use the side of grace. I botched that. You know, I was thinking of Laura Croft, uh, where Laura Croft at the campfires, she can t quick travel between the campfires, but she's got to be at the campfire. She's got to rest at the campfire. Not here. This, this ain't Laura Croft. This is an astrologer named Dr. Incompetent who can just walk over to the Church of Ella. And when I say walk over, I mean step through the ethereal realm, lose all substance of the body, and then reform. May I have a word? Yes, you may have a word. Oh, who are you? Look, at is this a spellcaster? Look at that hat. I want that hat so badly. You can get a hat similar to this in, uh, you know, some of the previous Souls games. Give me that. What's up? Yes, yes, yeah! I don't know why I do that gesture, but I really like it. A pleasure to meet thee, Tarnished. Oh, she's got I two faces. Rena. Hi, Rena. I'd heard tell of a Tarnished hurtling about atop a spectral steed. That was me. And upon looking into the matter, the talk, I surmise, is of thee. You got it. Thou art possessed of the power, no? I don't know about to that. To forth a spectral steed named Torrent. I do have that. Um... I, I like how you're like, oh, no, I can't do that. I don't know who told you that. I don't, I, I really have a, I don't think I have what it takes. You know how you can look in the mirror just to, and ask yourself, do I have what it takes? There are things where I have what it takes. Lots of things. But this one is not one of them. And what I mean is I cannot look into the two faces, the spectral face and the undead ghoulish face of a woman wearing a hat like this with hair like that with what appears to be two sets of hands and and lie. I'm just not there. I, you can be the bigger person than me. I don't have it. So I'm just going to go with telling the truth. Ah, as I had hoped. Good. I was entrusted this for thee. What's that? By Torrent's former master. Oh. Okay. Oh, it's a bell. So this is an easier way to summon Torrent, maybe? I don't know. Or I don't know what this is. Okay. Lone Wolf Ashes. Okay. It is a bell for calling forth spirits. Okay. Summon them with it. From ash and return to the earth tree. Wait a minute. The spirits will obey thine command but briefly. As they recall battles past, now it is thine oh. to do with as thou wishest. Wait a minute. Okay, okay. Oh my gosh, I can have, like, an army of my own. With a spirit calling bell, you can use ashes to summon various spirit spirits. Summoning spirits typically consumes FP. You can only summon one type of spirit at a time. You cannot do this during multiplayer. So this is a way for me to get an advantage uh, temporarily by summoning my own host, my cadre of spectral enemies to do my bidding and run interference while I, uh, you know, maliciously and cowardly and dastardly rain down magical energies safely at a distance. I love it. Forgive mine intrusion, Tarnished. Nah, it's cool. I doubt we shall again meet. Ah. But all the same. Learn well the lands between. I'd love to How know. How long will it be, I wonder? I don't know. Before the tarnished tire of obeisance to the two fingers. Um, oh, she's gone. She's out. 
Okay, I was hoping maybe she could train me in some spells because she's a witch, but she's she just peaced out. Uh, my, look at my face. I'm like, err. That's the seafarer face. I don't like what just happened. I like getting the ability that she gave me, but I wish she would stay in chat. I want to know who Torrent's former master was. That seems very intriguing. And let's see if I can use the smithing table to strengthen my armament here, my astrologer staff. And I don't have the smithing stones, but what about the... Dovilidi? I don't know how to do the thing then. Let me see if he knows how. You know how, dude? Ah, it's you again. It's me, my dude. Always a pleasure. Care to purchase anything? I mean, yeah. What you got? Did you, is your inventory rotate? It really doesn't. Okay, thanks. Goodbye for now. Peace, dude. I'm wondering how do I use this item that I got? So I got um like item crafting. Is it in this screen? No, it's not. I can make one of these though. Throw at enemies to inflict fire damage. That seems pretty good. I can make actually a few of these. I have uh, the ingredients to make several. And I have four cracked pots. So that seems like a really, really good thing to have. I don't have tarnished golden sunflowers, which I wish. Um, but let me go back into the inventory. I know that they told me how to do this, and I'm just not understanding. Um, oh, you know what? Maybe what I have to do is just map this um, to, an, uh, to a button. Um, let's see. Okay, I can put Lone Wolf Ashes over here on my pouch, which seems appropriate. But, um, as far as doing, doing what I would like to do, which is somehow, um, use this... Boost rune acquisition for a time. Oh, that's cool. I can use this if I want to make some cash. I like it. Uh, but, no, I want to know how to use this. Oh, um, this is much heavier, this foot soldier's cap. But it does provide much more resistance and I don't think my hood does anything special in terms of my stats it doesn't change my attack power it doesn't really change anything now in general it says I'm at medium load in previous Souls games if you get over half of your equipment load you become like more encumbered and your role is slower there's things that are slower to do, so you always have to kind of stay under half. And if you get beyond it, I don't think you can move at all. Uh, or, or something to that effect. I'm not sure. Anyway, let me go over here. And I'm going to go into Ashes of War. Usable on all melee armaments. Right, I want to use this. Hold the flat of your armament to your face and pledge your resolve, powering up your next attack. Oh, is this like a special move? Let me see if I'm using this right now. No, that's not doing it. Um, no, that doesn't do anything. That's not it. Hold the flat up to your face. Uh... Uh, I held the flat up to my face. I don't understand how to do it. And I'm going to figure it out later. Uh, maybe they'll give me more tutorial. Or maybe I have to go back and look at the tutorial that I already glanced at. But anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, do my flasks. And I'm going to allocate my... I'm going to go to this allocation. Because in general, I, I'd like to have more than one heal, and I very rarely in a fight need all four of my magic. So then what I'm going to do is 
uh, bounce back over to where I was and try to fight that boss, if at all possible, in the flower place to at least see what that's about. You know, it might be about nothing worthwhile, but I kind of just want to check it. I don't know. I feel compelled. It is nighttime, so that Night Rider will be there. David Hasselhoff will be there with Kit. Uh, and that's just terrific, really, it is. Uh, okay. Oh, my God. That's embarrassing. <laughs> Try this again. I pushed a button to uh, run, and oh, God. I didn't run. I jumped off like a fool. All right, here's a band of morons, zombie dudes. Speaking of zombie dudes, I could try to, like, summon a spectral host to see if it would help me beat the Knight Rider that's up here. Uh, but I don't know. I'll tell you another thing. I'm going to jump off my host, and I'm going to fight these dudes. Okay. I'm going to fight these guys so that they don't add on. To the fight with the Knight Rider. I still don't feel confident about taking the Knight Rider, but I want to try. I start really close by. I don't have that many um, souls. Oh, God. Okay, we're out. Oh, God. Not the best time to be standing there foolishly. Okay, drink your heal. And... Oh boy, I missed. I mistimed that. That's amusing. All right, get this back. Yeah, and that's the thing about this fight that's so challenging for me is basically that I, I don't hit him. He dodges just too easily. I'm going to have to use my other spell. Oh, he even dodges that. Man, what a jerk. All right, so that that is... He's basically out-leveled me at this point. No. See, that's the thing. I did not want to crouch right there. Okay. I did okay. And by okay, I mean, nah, I'm not there. That guy's too hard. He doesn't like me. Um, and he told me as much. Okay, let's just go back to the stake. Fair enough. I need more damage. It's daytime. Let's just get our body and uh, be on our way. Do, 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 do. Give me that. Yes, I did my triumphant gesture. I don't know if I'm doing that accidentally, but it's so funny. Oh boy, that's the wrong button. Oh, and I hit that guy. I didn't actually mean to do that to you, buddy. But honestly, it's actually not a bad amount. Now you can see from the amount of damage that I do, I'm getting close to the point of intelligence where I could theoretically, um, ooh, chain drape tabard, get these guys in one shot. Which is quite exciting. I love farming for runes, souls, whatever uh, in this game. Once I get my intelligence high enough such that I can, like, blast guys in, in one shot. It's a good time. Oh, here's this thing. Now, I don't know what the other side of that holds. Like, if it's a merchant who's transporting goods and, and they want to talk to me or if uh, it's instant death to try and speak. Oh, I can go down here. Let me just kind of look around down here. And my horse was able to sustain that. Torrent said I can take that, that damage. I'm just going to kind of glance around down here. Here's a turtle. I feel like the game wants me to, you know, you can hunt that turtle if you want, but I don't really want to. I like turtles. I'm pro-turtle. Unless there's some kind of absolute necessity for killing a turtle, I'm going to avoid it. 
Okay, there's a bad guy. Hey, he had that great dragonfly head. I do like getting those. All right. Um, there's a big crab guy. Big crab guy is kind of my nightmare. Looks tough. Oh, boy. Got it. Mm-hmm. I would like to fight Big Crab Guy once I have found a site of grace. There's patrols happening on the road. There's a kind of a knight errant with a big huge sword running around. And then there's a smaller group of plodding foot soldiers. We'll just leave them to their own devices for the time being. It's, it, like it says, you usually... Uh, check the road for the place for the map. There's an item over there for us to pick up that does look interesting. These guys have some kind of, you know, herald that they're carrying with some pomp and circumstance. These guys are digging. They're doing some archaeological work over here. So the best thing to do when you find lost souls toiling away is just pick them off. Not really. They usually don't give you very much. They're like the miners, you know, but the Ruin Fragment does seem like an artifact that it, at some point I would like to have, but I don't know when. And there's a mushroom. And here's a baddie. Now, I hope the knight doesn't see anything because... Oh, he does. Alright, we got him. We used a whole bunch of magic to make that happen. Let me make sure nobody's sneaking up on us. And what is this? It's another ruined fragment. Okay. And we got some fruit. Oh, we got a dismounter. A new sword from our buddy. And what is this? It's a ruined fragment. Okay, so we got another ruined fragment. So we're getting ruined fragments. Oh, okay. Well, there's bad guys. And there's a guy with a horn who's, like, trying to call troops to his side. And I don't like that. So I'm going to kind of just ride away looking for a site of grace. I'm an astrologer. I'm looking for the stars. I don't really use the stars. I, I use magic. But I could use stars if I if I wanted to. Here's wolves. Okay. Running out of magic here. My flasks did fill up though when I fought that. Um, that must be the alpha or the mom or whatever, and. Just sitting there, not really fighting. It's going to have some more health than the others. There we go. Fighting on horseback is still a little bit dicey. But if I kill this one, will you fill up my flasks? I think, I think that, that happened. I got bones and, yes, my flasks. Man, this game is great. So, yeah, you kill the group, you get your flasks back, and you can stay away from a side of grace for a little bit longer. Oh, here's a guy with a staff who's kind of walking along, doing his thing, just on a pilgrimage, and I killed him. Why, do you ask? I don't know. Didn't look like I could talk to him. I'm kind of up here with the express purpose of trying to find... A Sight of Grace. This is where I talked to the guy who was looking at the tree. The last time, I think. Um, anything else over here that we can do? I bet I could climb up this. I don't know what I would gain um, as a reward, but... Oh. Okay. There's ruined fragments up here. That's good. Nice place for that. And let's see if we can use our... You know what? I have some kind of... There's a tombstone 
on the left of my screen, and I don't know what that means. I wish I did. Lightning. Hmm. Does that mean lightning will strike here? Alright, so... Oh, oh no, lightning is going to strike me if I stay here. I see. Interesting. Who is making that? Oh, the plant from down below. The plant guy is doing it. Okay. Okay, thank you for the warning. Alright, let's move over here then. What I was going to do was try to take a look. I'm going to use my telescope. And sometimes... The telescope will avail you. There's a house over there. I know where I'm going. The, the telescope can avail you this... something interesting to look at. Uh, I thought maybe you could see the... Uh, oh, God, the, the house is much further than I thought. Never mind. I thought, oh, yeah, it's right there. I do have to ride a pretty good ways, but it's okay. What I was thinking was that the telescope would reveal some of the wispy lights that would show where a site of grace would be, but maybe it only does that either if they're active or it doesn't do that at all. Uh, I don't know. Give me that fruit. Give me that sweet fruit. Mushroom. Okay. We got fruit. We're doing great. Then there's some signs. Okay. Oh, you can just climb down here. I see. Okay. That looks, uh... Treacherous. Is there an opening into this structure? Doesn't look like it. Oh, here's something to pick up. Oh my god. What is this? Oh, they all came. Double jump. The party's here. Cool. Right, I'm gonna, uh, use my other spell. I'm gonna get off my horse. And... Oh, I'm out of magic. Okay. Oh, these guys are like... Planet of the Apes or something. What are these things? They're humanoid, but they... I mean, are they just, like, strict goblins? Or are they primates? What was that? What just happened? All right, I don't know. But I can go around looking. I'm gonna explore. I'm an explorer. And I said before I wasn't Laura Croft, and I'm not, but I still like to raid tombs. Alright, let me, uh, let me get my steed back. Let's be careful here. This looks maybe not the safest place. Alright, so the road is where the mappy stellies appear. The last one was heavily guarded. I don't know if this one will be as well. I also don't rightly recall where I saw... that house. Is it up here? Yeah, here it is. Alright. I get so excited in Souls games when there's a dwelling nearby because it might mean you get to talk to somebody. Look, there's the Wispies. There's a Sight of Grace. I knew it. It just seemed like the kind of place where there would be a Sight of Grace. Fantastic. Oh, there's a painting. Yeah, that looks safe. It's like the painting in uh, Aberforth's home with his sister. Okay, uh, we are at the side of Grace. And we're going to rest at the side of Grace. I'll respawn everything. I don't care. Can I level up? Oh yeah. I can definitely level up. If I level up, my magic only goes up one. So it's starting to trail. But I'm still going to do it. And we're going to go back and uh, sort chest. With this menu, you can place items that you're carrying into the chest for storage or take 
stored items out of the chest. If you're already carrying the maximum number of items when you pick up a new item, it will be stored in the chest automatically. Interesting. So I'm going to, I mean, I do have some stuff I can put in the chest, you know. Uh, just things like this. Put it in the, oh no, put that in the chest, yeah. Put it in the chest. I got stuff. The really, really heavy armor, I just, there's no way. Alright, cool. Uh-huh. And let's see, what is this? Artist Shack, examine. Um, homing Instinct Painting. And, okay... Visions of dark, so to speak, core. Hmm. I don't know what that means. Okay. Tranquility ahead. Okay. I don't know what I just got, honestly. Oh, here's a dead person. Hey, a smithing stone. Hey, if I get a few more of these, I can level up my stuff. And this is gold-tinged excrement. That's usually my excrement each day, has a little bit of gold tinge. Because I eat gold. I have a very, very luxurious diet. Still no item. Yeah, that's what I was hoping for was something. And no, not so much, huh? Okay. There is the side of grace, though. Alright, so we got a new little area that we can, like, check out. See what's going down. How's everybody doing? What's this? More excrement? That's great. Oh, it's a bear. Let's see if we can beat a bear. Yes. And... It had a lump of flesh and some hefty beast bones. And it's a new item. I am cheering because it's a new item. I'm happy. He's happy. We're all happy. Okay. Let me check the map. Where does this side of Gra Grace point? It doesn't. It doesn't point at all. So some of these other sites of Grace just don't seem to triangulate, you know? And maybe it will do it later? Or maybe that's just not how this side of Grace rolls. What is this? It's like a... Oh, it's another bear. Okay. Bears do not give you uh, very much in terms of souls. 15, or runes. So, I don't really meet, feel like fighting. I mean, bears just seem like a dangerous animal, like a wolf. You know, something you would need to fight, but maybe not. What's in that coconut? Nothing? Well, that seems a shame. Alright, let's look around a little bit. Oh. Some kind of wasp guy. Hi. Are you just a regular dragonfly? You are. Okay. Message. Eh. I get items confused for messages more often than I'd like. Oh, there's one of those statues. And there's a pit with uh, a wind current gusting up. It's like Genshin Impact if you have your wings. You can just jump right there, I'm sure, and everything's fine for you. What bad would happen? Nothing. Okay. Sound. Oh, sound. Right. Sound, oh, sound, indeed. Oh, wow, look at the platforming required. <laughs> now that's some serious... parkour shenanigans. Alright. What do we got over here? What's this? Still no here. Try jumping off. If only I had a friend. Indeed. Yeah, jumping off doesn't look wise. Uh, oh, there is a, a kind of mass of tentacles down below. Yeah, that's totally safe. Looks reasonable. Alright. Getting over there might be a little bit trickier than I had hoped. I'm going to go ahead and just summon the steed. Let's get around a little bit faster, shall we? 
We not having the map. Oh, I'm out of magic. Now, you will have to explain to me how that missed. I have that enemy targeted. Wow, that guy made a mockery of me. But now I have his head. So, you know. Win some, lose some. Okay. Cool. There's some uh, excrement, it looks like. This is a great place to go when you're trying to get poop. And pretty much everybody's always trying to get poop in this game. I think it's a poop harvester simulator. Oh, there's a baddie. Hi. Oh, yes. Aren't you going faster than should be possible? You are. All right. Okay. So let me rest here again. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is, I can level up, right? No. I, I would need to use an item to level up, that's fine. Did I rest? Um, yes, okay. Where do I wanna go from here? It's a great question. I can ride really fast. We will try not to fall off, try our best. Uh, is this a way to get down? Not really. Yeah, I probably should just follow the, the right path, but I am having fun. And let's see. Oh yeah, we can almost we can use this to get down, sure, if we want. I don't know the... Oh, there's a structure over there. That looks like a place we should be visiting right now that's, you know, uh, commensurate with our level. Okay, the horse did take damage there. Or I took damage. I'm not sure who took the damage. I'm looking around for the Wispies. It's a graveyard. It's going to be completely safe to pillage. That was me who took the damage. Oh, there's money. Golden runes? Oh, this place is loaded. Uh, can I get up here? The Fervor's Cookbook. Nice. Now I'm really, yes, I'm cheering because I got that. I am really pillaging the dead at this point. You talk about a Tomb Raider, I don't think it could get more egregious than what I'm doing now, but think of the levels. My God, man, the levels that we can achieve by getting all this stuff. That's a lot of gold runes. All right. Well, I'm glad I stopped here. Just paying my respects to the dead. Just a usual day. Very, very respectful. I'm a mourner. I think people can appreciate just how much I do for the dead in this land as a tarnished. It's like a... It's a special reverence that I have... There? Yes. Someone who might be interested in rescuing the great Kenneth Height, servant to the true order and celebrated repudiator of the false. Oh, Hertry. I see you. Grant me sucker. Oh, it's a guy. Hi, dude. Ah, you come to lend me your aid, have you? I don't know what that well, means. That's, that's very kind, but um No. 
No, the help is very much appreciated, even from a tarnished. Oh, I'm second Despite class. Appearances, nobility is no prerequisite to serving the true order. Yeah, that's right. You might have heard of me, Kenneth Height. Next in line is the rightful ruler of Limgrave. Oh, really? You're tarnished. I would have a boon of you. What's that? I want you to take back my fort. It lies to the south, beyond the Mistwood. Uh huh. A knight commander from Stormvale took it. A fool! And plum mad to boot. Simply obsessed with blood. Yes, okay, sure. What are you waiting for? My fort lies to the south, beyond the Mistwood. Take it back for me. I mean. Oh, I see. You wish to know the reward? Yes. Fret not. The great Kenneth Height is known for his considerable largesse. I hope so. The celebrations will be lavish indeed. They should be. The dawn of my fort's retrieval. Okay. All right, so he's known for his largesse. Now, a kiss goodbye would help me. Um, pathetic sore to head, indeed, right? Okay, let's also uh, just keep an eye out. I'm looking for a sight of grace. Let's see if I can spot one. There's one back there. Alright, great. Oh, God. Okay. That's classic. So I pushed the button circle to cancel using the telescope, and that translated into you want to jump backwards, which it is the button for jumping backwards, but not what I really meant in that situation. So I got to get out of my telescope in a better, safer way next time. That's amusing. All right. Um... And there was nothing else closer to my body. Well, you, you hate to see that. Okay, I'm going to just quickly uh, summon my steed. And go back to where we were. We were actually in a good spot. There was a fire, or a, you know, a resting point near us, so... Oh, here's some stuff to gather. Sure. Get all that fruit. Why not? Turtle Man is here. Okay. And, oh, here's some souls. So we'll just go ahead and the horse should break it and we pick it up and we got Golden Rune. That's what we do. We collect the runes. Alright, so I wish I had a better way of getting down here that, that didn't hurt so much. Still no ladder. I know. I want one. Alright, so... Ouch. Hurt me a little bit more than I'd care to admit. And let me just drink this, heal up, and go back to this. Alright. So I think if I... Oh, okay, great. They give me my body right up here. That's very helpful of them. Noble ahead, yes. I saw that noble. Alright, I'm going to run over here. Pick that flower... Love it. Give me that one, too. I don't care. Hey, dear man. How are you living? All right. Here it is. And we're going to just jump off and touch the grace. Got it. Okay. Let's rest. Yes. That's cheer. All right. I'm excited. It is true. It's a great thing. All right, let me uh, level up. And we need some more to level up. That's fine. Fantastic. This is a great place, though, for us to collect our thoughts and think about our next move. I'll tell you what. Look at all of this money that we have. It is time to use some cash. So this one gives me how much? 400. So that's a lot. Right? And I can um, use that to level up. But I'm going to go back. I'm even going to go within my... Oh my, look at that person's costume. Uh, I'm going to go within my own self and use even more. I'm going to use... Uh, let's see. I, I need over 2,000 to get up to the next level. How many do I need exactly? Let's level up. I'm going to put a point into intelligence. And you can see... 
Uh, it only raises my magic by one, but then my attack power on my armament goes up by one, which I think means I do more damage with spells. I'm praying that that's basically the case. Um, and I need 1,200. So we're going to go back into our inventory, and let's see. Um, if I use this and... I want to use... Uh, Five of these. Remember, what you don't want to do is use too many of these because these don't vanish when you die. So you don't you don't have to risk losing anything. Okay, and then I'm gonna level up. And if I put this in here, this does not increase my maximum load. That's endurance. So this gives me more stamina and more load. And it's actually a lot of load. Uh, and magic is starting to kind of trail off. It's only giving me one point per at this rate. So I'm thinking about leveling something else up. What would it be? Right? Not strength. Um, it would either be mind, which would give me three more FP, which is not really that substantial, uh, or endurance. And I kind of want to do endurance. And the reason is uh, I want to be able to equip some more armor. I don't have a reason not to at the moment. Except for that this armor looks awesome. But check me out. Um, if I go into my inventory and I look at my equip load, I'm at 22.9 out of 48.2. It's medium load, right? And so if I go to equipment, and let's just say, for example, I were to throw on this uh, right here. Its weight is much heavier, but it improves... Um, my defense by a lot, right? And so I could put this on. And then if I wanted to equip this, it would also improve my defense. And if you check me out, it doesn't make me take longer when I roll. Okay? So it's not slowing me down yet. And let's just see if I can put on anything else. Still medium load. Okay, and still medium load. So now I'm wearing like totally different armor. And it's, you know, not the best necessarily, but I'm not encumbered or slowed down that I can see by it. If it turns out that that is the case, that I'm getting slowed down, well, then that's a problem and we need to shift. But for now, I'm good with this. All right, so we are going to then uh, summon our buddy. And we're going to ride like the wind. Oh, there's materials. I don't really know what's over here, but I, I tell you what I want to do. Um, this is the... Artist's Shack. I kind of want to get see if I can get back here. This is the road. Oh, this is telling me where the map is. Let's go see if I can get the map for this area. That's actually a, a better... I was just going to go fight a boss. But let's see how difficult it would be for me to get the steli for this section. That is a giant thing. That is not just your regular... That ain't your grandma's bear. That is like an enormous guardian that terrifies me. We're into an area that's really misty. Okay. Um, that is something. It's a bear. Just a regular bear. And where am I on the map? If I go straight south, I'm going to get there. So where's south? It's over here. Oh. What is this thing? It's like a candle. Examine. Oh. Somebody appeared here. Who is this? Seek undead. Oh. Is this one of those places where it's like... You can use your ashes or something? I don't know what's going on. That bear might want to fight me. It does. Okay. So we're going to ride away... And we're just going to kind of do that. I don't really want to fight a bear. I have no 
you know, great intention of doing that. Uh, is that undead guy still here? Yeah, I could still see his footprints, which is good. But then there's that giant thing over there that's kind of clawing at that tree. There's the map. I want to try to get the map. Yes, I got it. And I just want to pray that that guy doesn't take an interest in me as I follow the undead dude. You keep sharpening your claws on that. Oh, you're a guy. Hi. Okay. Interesting. We got some bones. And undead dude is still walking. Is Are these your footprints? Yep. Oh, no. There's a whole bunch of these guys who are trying to come get me. Okay. That's funny. Hi, guys. Um, I'm trying to follow the undead dude. Where did he go? Oh, darn. Did I lose him? Well, that kind of stuff happens. All right. So here's you. Okay. Oh, boy. You killed my horse. Okay. You ki you're really, really damaging me. I don't like that at all. Okay. I missed. These guys aren't hard. It just... The targeting. I have to get better at it. Okay. Uh, these are bats. So let's just take them down. If we can. And what's this? A golden rune. We got some flasks restored. All the way to full, actually. Which is really good. I wonder to see if I can find that... That guy... Not easily. I can't find that dude easily, the undead guy. I would have to, like, resummon him, I think, and follow his path again to find out exactly what he was all about. But look at this. I have the map now of this section. How awesome is that? And so now I'm doing an even better job. There's a huge tree over here. It's great. Uh, oh, that guy's back. I hope he doesn't see me because... Uh, I don't, I'm not really intending to fight that at the moment, uh, but I am happy that we aren't dead. Okay. So this is where we kill the bats. And this doesn't really give an indication. There's like almost a town or something over here. Wow. How awesome is this game? The world is enormous. It's awesome. All right. I'm going to quickly go back to this map. And I'm going to set myself actually here. I'm going to do this because I kind of think, you know, at this point, I've explored a lot. I've found some places. I've leveled up. I've gotten some cool stuff to do. But it's probably time to progress with the main quest and get a little bit more um, done in that respect. But let me save it and as much as you can. That, that cart has arrived over here. I want to see what it does. What is going on over here with this? Is this like automatically they, they want to fight and kill me? Or can I go talk to somebody who uh, deals with this giant wagon? Now, there's just like some guards up front. Uh-huh. But can I do anything with this? This is... Oh, okay. I can open this, perhaps. What's in here? I got a flail. Oh, okay. Well, if you want a flail, that's where it is. There's a flail in there. Alright. I'm just walking around, dominating these guys. And wearing some cool new armor. Fantastic. Alright, so that is what's inside there. Awesome. Well, everyone, I think this is a great place to end the episode. We've done a lot of exploring. We've been going around. We've leveled up uh, more. We've changed our armor. And I'm trying to get this skull, and it is eluding me. Not anymore. And there's that golden rune. And I will check you guys next time when our hilarious astrologer keeps moving, and hopefully we can find some better caster gear. Take care.